Hey, how are you guys doing? My name is Capo. I'm here to work this um, CXC problem out for you. Um, what I do is I go through each section. I, I pick out, you know, I, I try to break it down just to different parts. This is this is actually part of one of the CXC problems. We're going to work on higher purchase today. Um, I'm going to post as much videos as I can daily to, to cover, you know, um, just as much topic as I can for those who are in dire need, you know, dire help or something like that. So anyways, here goes. The cash price of a laptop is $4,799. It can be bought and higher purchased by making a deposit of $540 and 12 monthly installments of $374.98 each. Part 1 of the question says, calculate the total higher purchase price of the laptop. Part 2, calculate the amount saved by purchasing the laptop at the cash price. Alright, before you think about anything else in math or any formula, this is what I want you to do. May I tell you this, it works all the time. Just stop and look upon the question and, you know, use yourself as an example. You know, tell yourself, I'm going to one store, I see a laptop for $4,799. Talk to yourself. You know, don't, as you say, higher purchase. I don't want you to be thinking about um, interest equal PRT over 100. Nothing like that. Just talk to yourself. Okay. Ready? Let's go. All right. Let's get me a good little color here. All right. Here goes nothing. All right. You... You got to people take out things by higher purchase because they might not have the money right away and um, higher purchase allows you to, to, to take the goods and pay for it over a period of time all right let's go everybody everybody's supposed to know what courts is right you go in a court you go in a court to see a laptop right let's make sure see a laptop I could draw the laptop you know let's get off a, a visual here so here we go draw up you can't draw Apple so you know draw you see a HP laptop look at the HP laptop you realize the price of the laptop is what four thousand seven hundred and ninety nine dollars that is the cost of the laptop if you had cash right there and then, if you had $4,799 right there and then you go into court, you could give them that money and take it. However, you don't have that money. Courts, you find out, have a higher purchase plan, which tells you if you deposit or you put down, and we can say it in our own Jamaican little way, right? If you so them have the higher purchase plan them say if you don't have the money you can own this laptop over a period of time if you do two things one pay down or aka deposit so you pay a deposit or you put down any way you want nice little any as long as you understand if you put down one five hundred and forty dollars and two if you pay 12 monthly installments of three hundred and seventy four dollars and ninety eight cents right so in order for you to walk out here with that laptop either so two ways you're gonna do it through higher purchase or buy cash we already established you don't have the money so obviously the higher purchase is going to be your way out all right so we said if you made 12 monthly installments all right so what is 12 monthly installments of 374 dollars that mean you know forget more installments and all this kind of different word and jargons with them and tell you more basically if monthly out of your check every month you, you get paid you have to give them three hundred and seventy four dollar and ninety eight cents for a year 
right? So how much is that? The paper tool says we can use calculator. I'm not playing a hero. So I'm going to put it in on my calculator. So that's $374.98 times 12, which is $4,499.76. Oh, the six now are right. And 76 cents. New software, I'm going to figure that out yet. So, right. So this is this way you can walk out with a laptop. Give him them the five hundred and forty dollars, and then every month out here pay pay them this money. Question one: Ask you calculate the total higher purchase price. All right, for the laptop, total higher purchase price. You know, say it cannot be the cash price of the four thousand seven hundred and ninety nine dollars because we say higher purchase over here, so right so that i mean that that basically i ask you how much money you you pay in all in other higher purchase forget the laptop remember you know you did pay the 540 dollars from earlier you cannot forget your deposit because it helped you for own the laptop too you cannot forget it remember you did pay this i remember also the second option where them they give you after make the installment which is in all was this, which is $4,499.76. So, add these two together and that will give you the amount you would pay in all in higher purchase. The deposit where you make, $540, because that's the first money you give them. And the installments where you make, the monthly payments where you make till you pay it off, which equals to four thousand four hundred and ninety nine dollars and seventy six cents but they cock up the little six up here so because it couldn't hold so you add them because it say what total higher purchase price it never asks a total monthly um cost it's a higher purchase and you already them give you two two things where you have to do for own this laptop in a in a higher purchase right so you add both of them pick up my, my calculator again because I'm paper too so we can use calculator so I'm going to add the $4,499.76 plus $540 which gives me $5,039.76 right so that is the amount I paid in all total higher purchase I swear this screen just kind of may I get a better one may I eventually figure it out right so that's the total higher purchase tell me where you realize now tell me just just analyze it and tell me where you get me realize say um if me did have the money me that pay a lot less than if me pay higher purchase right because me end up spend over five thousand dollar for the same laptop versus if me they have the cash but I spend one four one four thousand seven hundred and ninety nine dollar so higher purchase is always higher than the cash price more than often than the cash price uh, most of the time higher than the crash the cash price because um, they, they get what we call interest them want money pan them money. Okay, you're going to take my things and you're not going to have all of the money. So, me need to eat a food after you then. Because me give you my things and you're going to pay me over a period of time, right? So, anyway, lead me to my second question. Calculate the amount saved by purchasing the laptop at the cash price. So, basically, it I say, if you did have the money and pay the $4,799 instead of the higher purchase how much money would you save so you know what we're gonna do we're gonna subtract that's the only way we can know subtract the five thousand and thirty nine dollar and seventy six cents which is the higher purchase the higher purchase total so let's put hp <coughs> total the higher purchase total right plus the cash price cp Sorry, minus, sorry, not plus, minus seven nine nine. 
and we subtract that. I'm going to pick up my calculator. I'm not, I'm not playing an era and if I do CXC, I want to give me the use of calculator. I want to make sure I say it right. Which I got to end up give you $240.76. $240.76. That mean to say, if you did pay, why this thing no one turn in a dollar sign? The heck? What about this? This is supposed to be a dollar sign. I know it, Gary. May I try the new thing here? So, if you had paid the $4,799. You wouldn't have to pay the extra two hundred and forty dollar, yeah. You know, for the higher purchase, cause you end up pay instead because you never have the money. You end up pay the five thousand and thirty nine dollar and seventy six cents. So you basically answer the CXC question and you get this part right. Simple as that. You understand? You never add no, no, what formula for do this. You have to talk to yourself all the time. Maths is around us. That's how you're going to do it. So you get, you, hopefully you understand what I'm saying. I'm going to try and break it down as much as possible. And post a video on YouTube. You know, it's just, it's the same thing, you know. And, and basically, this where we get right here. So, which is the money where you save if you're to buy cash or this $240.76 where we give them in a higher purchase would have be the interest for them. So this are the amount interest we pay. That just one fancy way of them saying it. Just break it down and do it. Anyways, here it is. I work the CXC syllabus bit by bit. So hopefully if you have any questions, you know, shoot me. You know, I'm new to it. I just I try work as many problems. Hopefully help somebody out. So have a good one until then.